I told you. Have some faith in set five. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? It's an, it's one o'clock at night over here with me, what I am. But uh, I hope I'm actually recording this. I, I hope I actually press the button. I just upgraded to OBS like today. So, you know, I apologize. Otherwise, I would have probably streamed the event itself. But I didn't know what was that going on. But, uh, hold on. Let me change the camera a bit. But we, we ain't here about that. We're going to talk about... The Bushy Road TCG strategy presentation. We talking all of it. We talking Weiss. We talking Rebirth. We talking Shadow. No, we talk Shadow. We'll, we'll explain to that. <laughs> but we definitely talking Vanguard. So first off, what y'all probably all gonna hear before my opinions on what is currently the Japanese uh, TCG, the Japanese list. Uh, currently, the whole thing is Mystic Flare and Odysseus are banned in premium. Gone straight up. And uh, we got, they got the, uh, what you call it, the uh, Ruination Dragon, you know, restriction that English got over here. So that's pretty much it. They didn't really give a uh, standard didn't really have anything. They'll need it. V didn't get anything. That might, that will probably still need it later. But premium was like an immediate issue. Hit it right there. Got those two out of there. Odysseus should never, <laughs> they should never have let Odysseus exist while they won ripples ago i understand they want to do it but it's like it obviously became a, it always became a problem they were like mm, maybe it's this but like considering the fact that gurgrit's around the fact that you you thought odysseus was a good idea no it had to go sorry you, you're already palm card before you're palm card now and you're no longer palm card unless they smoke crack and let you off uh mystery flare gear congo main i'm so sorry i'm so sorry buddy but you had to go it, it, it you just were too you just were too strong in that format it, it it was just still unfair now this is still changed all the things premium no there's still some issues in premium that need to be addressed but these are the two biggest issues as well as getting uh as well as like at least like pushing down the power of a uh, what you would call it uh med colony of just a bit to make sure everybody plays so this is already just a good thing v still these issues and standard is fine but other than that i think that's fine uh I am kind of rushing through this because when it's just three cards, there's a lot to kind of talk about there, but we ain't here for that. We're here for the news. First off, we're going to talk about TC Street Strategy. Uh, the, uh, 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 I can't speak. The TCG Strategy Presentation. Uh, once again, credit to Freedom Duo for having these slides, doing a quick recap slide on, on their uh, Twitter. I will link that in the description for y'all to go and look, look it up yourselves. But we're gonna talk about this. First off, Shadows Evolve got absolutely nothing. Okay, that's not really true. They really talked about uh, the Uma Musume set, which I don't care about at all. But they really didn't talk about like the upcoming thing, which is uh, well, three new star decks will come out on uh, November 19th, and Booster Set 3 will be in December 16th. They showed us nothing about them, nor did they, no, not no more. They showed us nothing about them, but really they said, oh, uh, by the way, in a couple of weeks, we're also gonna have like a, uh, on this, I think two days, in two days, when the next Shadowverse, like proper set comes out, we're also gonna tell you the Shadowverse wall set details too. So go, go watch that stream too, by the way, you know. You know the the card game with Bushy Road. You know, just don't watch this one if you were only playing Shower Ball. Don't, just don't watch these at this point because y'all ain't getting none. Just go watch the Shower Stream like you usually do. Uh, so that's the thing. Rebirth is next, and uh, Rebirth was crazy because uh, first off, the, to kind of say how long they had, uh, <laughs> they said they said we have 15 minutes, and to show you that we're gonna have two people playing, having a best of having a best of one in the background for the entire 15 minutes and, and they're not joking they literally played until the end of the thing and you know they're able to get that best of one done so that's great uh do rebirth set league of recoil is coming out uh november 25th uh it gets a trial deck and a booster uh this set is in this series is insanely popular they're capitalizing on it now uh, why not? Uh, also, new Hollow Life set is gonna come out with fifth generation on December sixteenth, and Volume Two Booster will be on the twenty third. Cool. Anyway, 
Uh, Kaiji has a release date of November, January 13th, 2023. That's good. And uh, Toho Project will have a second booster with a release date to be announced. And, you know, that's pretty much it for Rebirth. Uh, pr pretty, pretty nice lineup, you know. I'm not a fan of High Life, but, you know, I see uh, Bolt on there, and that's, like, the most popular one I know from those. IG is really good. Leakers Recall is the hottest new anime right now. And Toho Project is Toho Project. So, Vanguard Overdress. Update to the anime schedule. Uh, Will Dress Season 2 will start January 2023. You know, Will Dress Season 1 is almost done, and now we come there. I don't think I pulled it up, but they actually had like, a announcement that they're going to do a rerun in, like, s Saturday mornings. Uh, you know, where like kids are able to like kind of watch it and everything, so that's like a big time slot. So they're gonna have a rerun on that day, and then Blood Dress Season 2 will be in January. Uh, Blood Dress Season 3 will be uh, in July? Yeah, it will be in start in July, and then more will come as it comes along, but that's pretty good. Next, news for set 7. First off, they, had, they didn't uh, post the uh, the trailer yet but they actually made a like long like animated trailer for set 7 to say like hey since it's the climax of the uh the will just anime for season one we're gonna actually like do something special here and made a nice animated trailer so you know they haven't posted it on uh youtube yet so you know have this but they also announced that in set 7 every single of the five great nations they're uh their effect triggers, like their fronts, their fronts, their crits, their draws, will be reprinted. So that is really good, and that adds more value to set 7, which already didn't really need it, because I'm going to be honest, I think set 7 has been really good so far for a lot of sex, but that's a lot of like natural natural value for people to get back into to get into the game for set 6, six, set six and set 7, and also gives very needed reprints for these cards. So really good. I really enjoy that. Uh, we already talked about the ban list. I got that done. Uh, then we got the actual art reveal of set eight, which is called Advent of Second Advent of Minerva. What that means, we don't know, but we also know what that means. <laughs> we'll, we'll say it in a second. So that will come out December 9th. And this is a Cray Cross Epic Part 2 set. All the, the there will be new like rear guards for the glitters, which will also get upgrades. Robin Me and Ruby Me will get one. Uh, Maple, Raylina, Opscade, and Makani will get re will get upgrades too. Uh, we get new ride lines. One we know, at least we know, uh, one will be for Brank Gate and it's Alkite, which is this one right here, which has a, a waifu with a giant kaiju in the back that's pretty cool art and then we have shosho doji which will be dragon empire uh these artworks are fantastic <laughs> they're like they're like really good off of that combined with the uh combined with having the glitters get like upgraded forms means like the, there's more support for those ride lines which is why i said if you really want that's this is why i said a while ago i said on twitter like a while ago but i said if you really like these ride lines get them now because they were cheap they were insanely cheap all the way back back when set fire released because they weren't as great and i i should have said like when i said did the review it's been like this i think i just said it in my review it's been a while it's been a while a lot of things happened uh pick them up but if you have any interest in these pick them up and you know you just look at what did to ava straight up gone crazy now the other things will come in there and there's one more thing they'll also be uh put in there which i'll talk about in a second uh and then you know the new rounds are there we got two new encounters uh maelstrom and lukier our first dark states and stokea uh encounters you know obviously they couldn't go back to the try to chew well because i think the idea is like these encounters are from limit break so so we can't go back to cater and dragon empire because that's just easy and plus that'd be just too crazy so i gotta go to another thing so they went to the other two limit break bosses uh luke Gear and maelstrom the two most popular units from that era yeah if that you should got one that'd be pretty cool too 
but you know we're here we are so they will get their encounters they get their right lines and their stuff that's really good also uh minerva is getting a retrain in overdress which uh I, I gotta say this because i'm you know say this i like regalia biden was never really a fan of minerva herself but this artwork is so good like i i, I see why people act up whenever Minerva's like around and why they would like foamed at the mouth like where's Minerva where's Minerva when freaking uh she didn't get reprinted the last week collection so you know, that's a really this really good artwork um I think it's over here yes and then also she will have a serial number rare which I'm assuming is going to work with like how PB uh PBD did in D, which is like there'll be an alternate artwork I mean not alternate artwork, but like a very like special high rarity version which is like you know kind of like there's gonna be a set amount of them out there in the in the world so that increases the value of the card because of course tony taka is a lot of money so before we go to white schwartz uh we're gonna talk about set a little bit more because there's actually some information here that's not on the thing it's a little small thing but it's a number of card types all 96 types in parallel so up to set five and six, well, mostly since set five, most of the overdress sets have been around 90 cards. So this is the first time it's actually, in a while, it's actually broken the whole uh, over over 90 like limit. So, and considering this is the set with the encounters and the uh, Cray Cross epics, I have a small copium theory that the six cards are probably going to be the reprints of the PRs, you know, the Ava PR, the, you know, all those PRs that made all those, that are going to make those decks really good, right? Because Chaos, uh, Rora, and Ava got a PR, uh, it helped Rora and Chaos a lot, and made Eva arguably a tier one deck, and then we got the announcement like this earlier this morning. And same morning as like Tuesday morning for the weekly stream. Uh, that man, it, I need some water. <laughs> uh, that uh, the others, uh, Tommy, your uh, Tommy, your uh, Degria, and and uh, Michu, you know, the new one are going to get their uh, their new support. So that's also another thing. That's so that's why I'm thinking the idea is like they're gonna probably like reprint those into those sets, which. I think would be a fantastic idea because my god what were you thinking putting those uh putting those six in there and i think that would be a nice thing if you just said from now on hey if we do a promo you know hey from now on these will probably get re say like if we you know say at least be like hey certain promos will probably be reprint will be reprinted in like a set in like a couple sets from now so that's the thing at least be like this like there's not just a giant complete scarcity because of how you did it in between like uh the wgp season because that's just actually that was actually trash i'm i'm not gonna like cap on you for that so with 96 cards you know 90 new cards they're from what they said they're going to be all just rear guard support for the glitter as well as you know hopefully the reprints and i think that's just really good i i'm really excited for today i might just go crazy and just buy a whole case for myself because ain't nobody gonna share with me in my victory I, no, i'm just kidding i want all y'all to share me this victory because i was one of the few that stood up for these glitters i'm gonna keep standing up for them glitter supremacy let's go <laughs> and that's pretty much it and before we get off uh vanguard entirely Update to Deer Days. We got a new key visual. Looks fantastic. Like just straight up, all these original characters, really cool. I ho I hope one day they do kind of like appear in Will Dress. I really like to kind of see her come back in Will Dress. That'd be cool. Uh, so the update is Will Dress will go up to Festival Collection, the second Festival Collection, and it will include the first, the first six Dark decks. And the first trial deck for Kyrie, it'll come with all the first five booster sets. It'll come with both lyrical first two lyrical sets, the first things, and any and any promos that are released during that time. 
Uh, also, a DLC announcement in future updates too, which will also include character skins for Ren, Kai, and Aichi, which, you know, that's probably fine idea, right? Uh, giving more uh, DLC potential there. That also means that I'm trying to say that also means that the other set they also said announced that the will dress sets set six set seven set eight will be like released as like updates in the future as for how they're being updated we don't know but you know we'll see either way i think that's pretty good this is not you know this still won't be the zero killer because uh there was a announcement i don't want to talk about mostly because i didn't pull up but uh uh you can go look it up on the zero thing but it's pretty much uh the Hall Life collab is getting a third run with both, uh, both uh, what's it called, Sakura Miko and uh, Suse. So both of them will get a will have a collab with Vanguard Zero, where they'll get two, where they'll get two grade threes, sleeves, other stuff, and a stride. They will get their own stride. Uh, cool for those who enjoy Hall Life. I don't. So I'm just not really going to talk about that much. On to... Now we move on to White Shorts. First off with White Shorts Blau. Uh, Utena Prince Sama Majid of Kingdom Booster will get a release on December 9th. Uh, I have no idea what it is, but if the idea is White Shorts is supposed to be more like f f uh, friendly to the female or, you know, the girl player base whatever you whatever you want to say this obviously like adds on to that theory because uh there's no yeah <laughs> and there's also an announcement that eve uh, i think if you know eve the band is going to get their own white shorts blouse set which uh yeah also f adds that fire and that's pretty much all of the information because all the information onwards connects with white shorts proper uh, D4 DJ will get a uh, get two new trial decks, uh, and they will release on February 24th. And the other booster will be in April 28th, which is wow, that's a that's a path. That's definitely a good while ago. Uh, they also showed Chainsaw Man will come in winter 2023. Wait, what? In summer twenty. That's interesting. I don't think I noticed that. Yeah, winter twenty twenty three in summer twenty twenty three. I'm assuming that just means like January something, and summer is gonna be like June. That's very long half time for anything. That's weird. Uh, they also kind of showed the trailer, and for those of you who were caring, they actually showed like an altered version of the trailer because I noticed like when in that scene where power is running. She has more scars, like kind of more cuts on her, more blood on her than what was in the original trailer. So that's pretty interesting if you want to go back and watch that uh, that event. Go back and watch that and watch the like altered version of the trailer. Uh, next, Azure Lane comes to Weiss. Uh, cool. This comes out December 16th for the trial decks and 23rd December for the actual booster. Next slime will get a third booster, which will release on January 20th, 2023. I'm kind of hiding the date, sorry. But, you know, good for all the people who like reincarnates the slime. Star Wars will get its premium booster on February 17th, 2023, which will have all nine series. You can see uh, the GOAT Obi Wan right there. You got Darth Vader, Rey, Han, uh, Luke right there. Like, all of them that's cool and they announced a premium booster for marvel in the infinity saga which if you don't know what the infinity saga is the infinity saga is basically all of phase one to three of the marvel cinematic universe going from iron man to endgame so that is that is a lot of content that could potentially come out and that's coming out february 17th 2023 so that is kind of interesting and i think oh, okay there's two more uh, 
Next is Ari Futa is finally getting a white short set, which is weird considering that show just got third season somehow. Like I'm kind of surprised they hadn't got one already. I guess now it's like okay, fine. It actually is kind of popular. Like the Japanese people, Japanese like fandom at least is eating up. Fine, we'll give it a white set. That'll come out February 24th. And Heaven Burns Red will get its we get a trial deck and booster, which will be on. February 10th, 2023, which is a brand new key series, the key uh, uh, phone game with Right Flyer Studios. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I gotta say, like, this was outside of Shadowverse Evolve and, like, you know, Rebirth kind of going over the little, like, small things and kind of look a, a less crazy presentation. I gotta say, this was probably one of the strongest. Uh, uh, conferences in a minute. I think Vanguard's kind of knocked out the park the announcement of, yeah, set seven is going to have these reprints, a ban list, set eight is going to have one of the most popular units in the franchise, not just D, not just V, not just G, the whole franchise. Minerva is the only unit to ever have received an actual, like, uh, figure in. 11 plus years and if you know how many like popular vanguard units there are and the fact that only minerva is the only one to still have them like we're talking asha chronojet gavrail luard blaster blade dragonic overlord Di die kaiser all of them minerva is the only one that still got it and it's still saw everywhere that is how popular she is so that's crazy I think that's pretty much. I think that's pretty much it for everything for the uh, for the announcement. You know, we got the ban list. Ban list was cool. I'm. I don't have any problems with it. Maybe a little bit more here and there, but outside that, it's cool. Uh, Renova coming back with the glitters, which I care more about than anything else. That's great too. Overall, fantastic. I I I got I got no problems. I'm happy. I'm eating. This entire day has just been me eating. Got a Nintendo Direct, got the uh, State of Play, and then got me some good glitter Vanguard units. I say that's a win for me today. But on that note, we're gonna call it here. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. If you like what you see here, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Why did I change that up again? <laughs> <laughs>